Meantime, Vladimir Putin will be meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping this week at a summit in Uzbekistan. It's the first time Xi has left China since the start of the pandemic. Foreign correspondent Rosie Burchard is live in Uzbekistan with a preview. Rosie, what can we expect? I'm joining you from Samarkand, one of the most ancient cities on the planet, 2,000 years of history or more. And Uzbekistan was formerly part of the Soviet Union. To the north on both sides, there is China and Russia. And just a few hours drive south from here is Afghanistan. Now, this is a country which across those millennia has been a place of crossroads where cultures meet. And this is a place, now a city, which is about to play host to a whole selection of world leaders including Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping. And I think what this city is really about to witness is the deepening of that partnership between Russia and China, a partnership built on the fact that these are two countries which share a border, which is thousands of miles long, a partnership based on deepening trade with Russia, looking for new customers for its energy, with now Europe sanctioning many of Russian energy supplies, and also a partnership forged through some, would say, a shared world view and a certain degree of reticence towards the United States. In the case of Russia, certainly, I think we would say to as much as contempt. And in China, certainly those relations have been cooling over the past few months, not least with the visit of Nancy Pelosi, the, the House Speaker. Now, this summit is due to take place over the next few days. Those bilateral talks between Xi and Putin are really what everyone's eyes will be on. Uh, just a few months ago, back in February, before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Russia and China declared that their friendship was one with no limits, and those limits are likely to be pushed further, perhaps with some deeper cooperation on those areas of energy, on those areas of trade. But what Moscow would really like here from China and from other world leaders that will be joining, from India, from Pakistan, is some more support when it comes to this ongoing invasion and that war in Ukraine. But that is likely a request that will fall on deaf ears this is traditionally a forum which doesn't like to take sides. And of course, it's also a very difficult time for any of those countries to think about taking side or supporting Russia further, given those heavy losses on the battlefield. We will watch to see what comes from this meeting. Rosie Burchard with a preview in Uzbekistan. Rosie, thank you. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. September is historically the worst performing month for the stock market, so you better be ready for it. The Fed continues to aggressively raise rates, and J.P. Morgan is forecasting another mega rate hike September the 21st. Is that why Jamie Dimon said an economic hurricane is coming our way? Well, gold and silver have remained remarkably stable despite the Fed aggressively raising rates today. The Patriot Gold Group has a special incentive for Newsmax viewers. Huge! Now precious metals investors can enjoy the No Fee for Life Gold and Silver IRA on qualifying rollovers or enjoy free, discreet, insured shipping on all direct gold and silver purchases. Here's the number, 800-356-4470. Call 800-356-4470 today. 